In this short video, we're going to take our board drawing from Eagle, export it, and then bring it into Copper Carbide so that we can cut it on the desktop uh, Nomad CNC. Once we've finalized our board layout, PCB design, we can just go File, Generate Cam Data, and we'll just take everything off of here. That should give us a zip archive on our desktop or wherever we downloaded it to. And from there, we need to take these cam outputs. For the purpose of the video, I'm just gonna drag it to the desktop. Inside that folder, we get drill files, Gerber files, and assembly files. I'm mostly interested in the copper top Gerber and the Exelon drill file. Go to copper.carbide3d.com and we'll start laying out our board. You're welcome to do millimeters or inches. I'm measuring in inches, so I'm going to do my board in inches. The PCB that I measured is three inches in width and two inches in height. Our material changes in copper carbide the thickness of my board is 0.063, and I'm gonna to do top side only. It now asks me to select my Gerber file. You can browse and then find your Gerber file. We can see that the offset on this board matches my offset in Eagle. I'm going to use the 40 degree bit and if we zoom in we can see the isolation passes here. This is three isolation passes. Two should be sufficient. The more isolation passes you have the thinner the traces become since we're using a v-bit to engrave. So just know that it gets exponentially wider as you increase your depth. Now we can look for our drill file under cam outputs, drill files, and it should match up to all of your pads, vias, holes. For drilling, we're gonna use a 0.9 millimeter or one millimeter bit, so that's one of these two guys here. I'll use the larger bit. Our plunge rate should be relatively slow but not too slow or else the fiberglass will build up on the drill bit. I'm going to choose 12 inches a minute. I would like an outline cut of my board. We can see that it's creating this outline shape here. It's going to mill out the section of my board that I want. So the final board itself is going to be two by two and I can offset it from this corner. So since I know my offset from earlier, oops, I'll bring in a quarter inch in and a quarter inch over. And now I can reduce this size here. So that it fits the edge of my board. And feel free to play around with these numbers this helps us save a little bit of copper, and that looks pretty good. We'll be using a, an eighth inch or a sixteenth inch end mill. In this particular case, I'll be using the sixteenth inch end mill, the .062. We don't want to create an uh, area rub out. What we're doing is just isolating all of the traces and pads, but if you do that, It'll take away all the copper in between and just leave you with the traces. We're going to just be careful with our soldering. Click next and then save to disk. This will save a .nc or numerical control file. Click save file and hit OK. Make sure you know where you save this file and call it something other than copper. Once you've created that NC file, you can now bring it to the CNC machine to cut your part. 